off today i got something really really special to you guys the buzz tv vid stick plus this is going to be the unboxing and the specs everything that you need to know about this device now make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and do hit that thumbs up um, I do appreciate that and let me know what you guys think about this one Buzz TV has been coming up with some great products um, And we're gonna jump straight into this one guys. Let's go ahead and open this guy up So there is there is the device right there vid stick plus and it's got like looks like a like a horse not a mythical unicorn so let's go ahead and open this guy up and see exactly what we get so right off the bat just my feel on the on the on the the box itself very high quality every just thing everything feels really nice the packaging on this thing look at that this thing is nice so you can't just pull it out there is a piece of plastic on here so you got to pull this thing up there's the device itself and then you got to give it up to these guys the packaging on this thing is just amazing how they have everything set up look at that everything is packaged really really nice so you get your remote controller here with a velvet travel bag which is nice you get your power supply extended and ir sensor extending cables so this is really i personally i like how they do stuff like this because it tells you that they've put some thoughts behind it and they're not just throwing everything inside the box like most devices out there so at the very very bottom you do have a user manual so this is the vidstick vidstick plus the 4000 series and there it is it gives you like installation what do you get so very simple and same thing with the remote got a little uh like a button list there for you to, to mess with so very very simple and easy to go through now if we do look at the stuff here we're going to go ahead and open up this thing and this one's going to be your IR, uh, your extender and your IR sensor. So when you do open it, it's going to be a little bit tricky to pull this up, not too hard. And everything just slides right out. There it is. And there it is. So you do get, see for me personally, this, I do like some of the stuff like this. So you have your, your HDMI and this is your extender there. So if you do want to extend it, that's actually very, very nice. And then you have your IR this is really really good for your remote so keep that in mind now for your remote controller we are going to be testing this guy out the one thing i absolutely love is you get quality batteries so these are energizers and then you do get your remote now it did say it, it does come with a bag here so there is your, your your bag right there so with the bag all you do is you just if you want to travel with it, you just put it in and you're good to go. So that's very, very nice. I'm going to put that to the side. And I'm also going to put these two things here to the side. Now the power supply. This is probably for me one of the most important things when I do get the power supplies because I want to be sure that I am getting some kind of quality. And it does look like there's more products at the bottom here. So you do get some different ones. You got like the UK and you got the the chinese plug so it just depends on where you're plugging it in so the way this works this the okay so for one like check this out you got the buzz tv logo on this thing which i think looks amazing i i absolutely love when they do stuff like this so this is really really nice now this thing does plug out like this now the way this works is you want to put it in and let's just say i am from the uk all this does it slides right in like this and then now you got your uk plug very very cool you pop it out and you want to put the i and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping i'm saying this right this is, this is the chinese version of it but you see the two plugs right here at the bottom that will plug into right here so all you got to do is just slide it in just like this wait till it pops and that's it that's very nice and i love how flush it is it locks in very very good and then you just slide it right off very easy it doesn't cut my hands or nothing like that so it's very very nice now for this this is just your, your your cable to plug everything in so the good thing is i do live here in the states so i'm not going to use these adapters not going to need them and with this thing all you got to do is just pop it out plug this in right here which again it just everything just feels quality it, like I, I absolutely love what they've done now the final thing of course is going to be the actual device itself so go ahead and pull this guy out and here is the device itself now 
just again just the experience of just pulling everything out just seems very high end quality it has a look at this it has a little plastic thing I love the gold hdmi uh, port right there um plenty of vents and everything this thing looks i'm telling you it looks amazing we're gonna go ahead and, and use this camera here but i love how you got the buzz tv logo right there at the top you got all the different vents the hdmi look how crisp that looks that just looks clean it looks so clean now of course on the sides you could put a tf card so if you want to expand your memory that's good your power supply here and then this is for your ir at the bottom usb 3.0 which you could definitely use so that's very very nice like i'm telling you i absolutely love what these guys have done now the the one thing i do want to say is when you when you do travel with stuff like this and you're like hey i want to travel with this use that little baggie the great thing because you do have this interchangeable i like i i travel all over the world so um to me for if if i have something like this typically i just say just take your tablet you should be good to go this i don't know <laughs> like you, you cannot travel with your fire stick because if you do go to another country you have to get an adapter and blah 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 um with your tablet you typically could just turn it on connect to the wi-fi and you're good with this one if you do want to use a stick the good thing about it is that it does have that interchangeable adapter for just about anywhere in the world so that's really good let's go ahead and plug this guy in guys so the last thing i'm going to do is i am going to be using again the remote and i'm going to be plugging in the batteries that they did provide so while i'm doing that i'm going to come here to the android device itself the buzz tv vid stick um right off the bat just do want to say that i am using the extender and we are going to be using the remote here so i got the the the, the batteries plugged in and now i am going to be moving up and down so right out the box i am having remote issues where it's not moving around or anything so i am going to be plugging in the ir sensor and hopefully that and that does fix the issue so make sure you you do use that thing and i know there is a thing where you could flip it over to the bluetooth but just plug that thing in there and and you should be fine just to show you guys exactly how this thing looks like i have it all plugged in like this and the extender and that's pretty much it so let's come back here to the device and i'm going to turn off that camera so you got english espanol filipino francais uh fran from france and canada so you have different languages there so i think i'm speaking english i'm going to go ahead and do that now as far as your time zone just pick whatever time zone you are currently in and you should be good to go so go ahead and do that and then from here you could choose what type of resolution you want so i'm going to go to, i'm going to do the 4k at 60 frames per second and then of course you could zoom in or zoom out i'm just going to go ahead and hit done and then i'm going to connect to my wi-fi so i would I, I am going to say this with this remote i know it's kind of hard to tell but it there is a light on it so you just saw, you just saw it turn off there's a light right there give it a few seconds and you're going to see look at the okay button and it's off so that's that's cool i, I do like the backlit button so we're going to go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi here. Now, once you have connected successfully, it's going to say checking for updates, installing this, installing that. This is installing Netflix, Chrome. Now, keep in mind with the Netflix one, I know it's going to be one of the standard definitions. It won't be the official one. It'll be, well, it'll be an official standard. It won't be the, the 4K one. So here is the home screen. I like, for me personally, I actually love this. It's very simple and straight to the point. You got your live, your VOD, your PVR, your EPG, everything is there. Your all apps, app store, you could add shortcuts, settings, all that stuff. So let's go ahead and look into the specs. What is it spec wise that you get within the device? So one of the things I like to do is I just put this app called Ida64. This is where I can get into all the specs and find everything that I absolutely need. So as far as your system goes this is the am it uses the am logic chipset which i love notice where it says model right like literally right there it says vidstick plus so you know exactly what you're getting this is advertised as 32 gigs of internal memory and you're left with 23 gigs after all the system updates and everything that the the interface uses which is really really good 23 gigs of memory to do stuff with is a lot 
four gigs of memory, which is great. As far as your CPU goes, this is running a quad core ARM Cortex A53 at 64 bits. This is Bluetooth version four, keep that in mind. Now, as far as your GPU, it is using a ARM Mali G31. This is also Android 9, so you get Android 9 with it. The device is not rooted. Now, one of the most important things here that I like is the codex. You got your decoder, uh, your DT. This is your Dolby Digital Sound, guys. DTS HD, which is great for surround sound. You got your FLAC, MLA, MPEG, Opus, RAW, Vorbis. I know that a lot of this stuff sounds foreign, but this is what you need for surround sound. Now, when it comes to the video quality, um, of course, you're going to get like the H.264, H.263, your HVEC decoder. Awesome. This is the one thing that I love to see. And Logic Dolby Vision decoder dot awesome. This is your Dolby Vision for your 4K quality stuff, which is going to be amazing. And then if you scroll down here, you got your your RM10, 20, 30, 40 decoders. You got all the decoder awesome, the V9s, the MW, MV1, 2, 3 awesomes. Um, Everything is in here that you absolutely need. So if you are very interested in this one, as always, I have in the description below links with a coupon code. That way you guys can get. And I'm telling you, this one is a go. If you guys don't know about this one yet, check it out, check it out, check it out in the description below. You'll be able to see all the links for all this stuff. So I hope you guys have appreciated this one. I'm trying to give you guys some more stuff. Stay tuned for the next video I'm going to have. A very nice one with with what to do with the interface and the specs and all that stuff there so you guys take care take care of each other and I'll see you guys soon